What is up YouTube, XCX Solutions here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install a Ven cord for Discord. Now, six years ago, I made a video on how to install custom themes on Discord. This was a while ago, and it has been patched. I believe Better Discord has been discontinued, and obviously there's a lot of different clients out there now that you can use. I believe Vencord is probably one of the best out there. It is open source and available to view on GitHub. Now in the description below, I will leave a link to the website and the GitHub. Feel free to have a look there, support the community. And if you wanna donate to the developers, feel free to do so. Now with Vencord, there are tons and tons of unique plugins. If you don't have Nitro, this will benefit you in a lot of ways. I'll show you later on in the video. I believe some of you probably already know this, but I thought I'd quickly make a video on it since it's been six years. And a lot of people want custom themes for Discord. So I don't have Vencord installed on the Discord client on this PC. So what I'm gonna do is just start off fresh and show you how to do it. If you just wanna download it via Windows, Linux, or Mac, there are three options up here so you can do that. I'm just gonna go onto the Windows one, download the Vencord installer, not the CLI. So simply download this. Once downloaded, it's very simple, just open it. You may have to run as administrator, maybe you don't, I'm not too sure. I just run it without privileges. Make sure you choose the stable uh, option here, not the custom install location, unless you have a weird Discord directory set up. This will basically detect your Discord client and all of the app data and local data files. Simply make sure that this is correct. If it is, uh, just hit install and that will go ahead and simply patch the Discord client. All you want to do is hit OK. Once that's done, you can go ahead and just exit out of this. And as you can see here, Discord looks perfectly normal. Now, if you go ahead and go into the user settings, you'll see about halfway under the user settings tab, you'll see Vencord. Now, this is really, really cool because this actually integrates within the Discord client itself. Um, so if you want to go ahead and click this, you'll see you can enable custom CSS. So um, obviously there's some theming options there. You can actually enable React developer tools if you want to do that. This is a little bit more advanced stuff, I guess, um, but you can tinker with this. You can enable Windows transparency. So if you look at the top of the screen, um, I believe once you restart, it does require a full restart when you do some of these options. It will actually allow this bar up here to be transparent, just like a normal Windows application. So that's kind of cool. Uh, you can disable the minimum window size and some other options here. I won't go through a lot of it. I just want to go ahead and just show you some of the main features. Now, most of you guys are probably here for the themes and plugins. So I'll quickly show you the plugins here real quick. Now, there is a lot of plugins, guys. There's a lot of... I'm not going to go over all of them, but there is some really, really cool stuff here. Like I said earlier, when you enable something, for example, if I enable one of these, it will usually ask you to restart Discord. So if I go ahead and restart now, it will simply do it itself. Restart the Discord client and then you can go into these settings and that will be enabled. Um, if you do want to see all of the ones that you have enabled, you can click this drop down here and show enabled. So you can see Crash Handler is enabled by default and then DRO is the one that I just enabled. If you click the settings cog, there's actually options here for you to change on a lot of these different plugins. So for example, there's a better GIF alt text, better notes box. Um, there's a lot of really cool fake Nitro stuff in here as well. I do like some of the emote cloners that you can do if you don't have Nitro. Um, there's a really, really cool ton of plugins here that are awesome. You can have a TTS voice in your ear when someone joins a Discord call. So if you don't have Discord open or you're not sure who it is, it will actually announce who joins just like TeamSpeak used to do, which is very, very cool. Um, again, you can tweak all of these settings within the cog on the plugins. So yeah, go ahead and mess around with that. There's some really, really cool plugins. I will leave a YouTube video link in the description below with a guy that reviews a lot of the really cool updated plugins. It's a very good and um, pretty cool video. Go check him out. So lastly, I'm just gonna go over the themes real quick. There is an updater. If you want it to automatically update, it will notify you within a little widget icon that pops up on Discord. If you don't want it, you can uncheck this and then just manually check for updates if you want to. If the little widget down here gets annoying and you just keep continuously restarting then you can disable that if you need to lastly we have themes now this is very very cool very easy to install actually and you can install them locally um, there are better discord themes that are still working on here and obviously we've got the github ones as well so if you go ahead and open the themes folder you can see that we have a folder directory within roaming then and then themes directory now obviously there's none in here by default so what you'll have to do is go over to online themes and either link them here, which will actually select them, or you can just go ahead to the uh, URLs that they've provided 
in the description of the plugin and you can see there's a lot of different themes here so i'm just going to go ahead and choose the dark plus one by dev evil shout out to him now you're going to be asked to save it what i'm going to do is actually just save it to the desktop for now and then we're going to go ahead and minimize discord now we already have the folder or directory open for the themes so what i'm going to do is simply drag and drop that in here now that we have that in here we can go ahead and go back to discord and if we load missing themes you can see here we have this theme so what i'm going to do as easy as that is just enable it and boom there we go custom theme on discord not paid for completely free open source and you can go ahead and look at the css file and tweak that if you do know how to uh, you know tweak a lot of the css formatting if you want to but there we go we have it we've got purple accents the bar at the top has changed there's a lot of different box sizes and stuff like that very very cool indeed and yeah just super easy i mean there's pro there's probably a whole bunch of other websites with different themes on there uh better discord themes actually has quite um, a plethora of, of different themes to for you to choose from so if you like a, a more brighter theme there's plenty on there they also have emoji replacements they've got darker themes lighter themes um, you know Tokyo night this this looks pretty awesome I think this allows you to change between them um, and yeah there's probably a lot of different themes out there that you can choose very easy to install I thought I'd show you guys this awesome little plugin very very cool if you use discord and like to game all the time with friends I highly recommend this but uh, that's pretty much it guys comment rate subscribe and all that good stuff and I'll see you guys in the next one peace